Frugal Diva, Frugal Diva, what, what, Frugal Diva, yes, coming to you from live from my bathroom, mm -hmm. Frugal Diva Chronicles, hey, dogs and divas, okay, today is not Friday, but I am coming to you because I have to send my laptop back to the manufacturer, I did talk about that another time. I did. Anyway, I do need to. Uh, I need to wash my hair. I do. I need to wash. I need to wash my hair, as you can see. Okay, this is my nat. This is my natural hair. I need to wash my hair, but I think I'm gonna wash my hair after I come. After I come back, because it's not. I could go outside. You know, rocking it like this, not a problem. Um, my hair does a lot of shrinkage. I'm looking at it here, and this thing does a lot of shrinkage. Cause look at this, look at this, look at this. And as you see, let me let me pull it out. Cause you see, I'm t I am holding my hair. Look at look at the length. It, it, a lot of shrinkage, but I guess you know that's what happens with natural hair and curl pattern, whatever the case may be. But you can see it's curled from the beginning to the end, so you now have no no uh, relaxer, nothing in it. It's very he healthy. It's a very health. It's very healthy. I thank God for that. That I maintain and keep my hair very healthy. Um, and let me tell y'all, I y'all know I wear wigs. I like to wear wigs. I wear weaves every, every once in a while. But because my hair is natural, I gotta get certain weaves so that way it blends in properly. Cause you know you don't want nothing half step. But I like to wear wigs. And I'm gonna tell y'all the honest and the truth. Why? I like wigs, and I like wigs because for me they are multi-purpose. Um, in the summertime, I really I wear a wig, but very very rarely. I more wear my hair natural, or whatever the case may be, only because I sweat a lot. I, I mean, my hair retains and holds water. That's a good thing about it is that my hair stays moistured, moisturized. But it retains and holds water. So, I mean, I sweat a lot. And I'm, let me tell y'all, I don't know about y'all, but them wigs be hot. Okay? But now, this is a good reason for why I wear wigs in the wintertime. Because I don't like hats. I do not like hats. And I actually wear the wig like I wear, like, like a hat. Because, like I said, my hair retains and holds, holds moisture. So, my head is warm. My head stay, head stay warm with a wig. I don't need no hat one. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, okay, I did say, yeah, I'm sending my laptop back, but right now I'm just working with my, um, I'm working with my, uh, my Kindle, which I'm, I'm taking on right now, and I'm working with, um, my phone. Yeah, yeah, it's a part on this song from, um, Flip Mode, uh, Oh, you heard that? If I ain't gonna be part of the greatest, I gotta be the greatest myself. Anyway, so let's go into what I want to talk about. Um, I do taxes. Okay, phone. Anyway, I do taxes. Yes, I do. I do taxes, and I do taxes in partnership with the uh, IRS and uh the food uh food bank of America, which is not a nonprofit organization. So that's what what I um do it with in, in partnership, and I also do taxes myself on the side because I did used to work for um the IRS many years ago. I worked for the IRS, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, my thing is, I I get really sick and tired of people calling me uh two and three times a day asking me about their taxes. And is it, did it come back yet? Did it come back yet? Did it come back yet? When I specifically told you, whew, get the gun because I'm about to shoot the shit. <clears throat> and y'all see, normally I don't curse, but this makes me really, really upset. Anyway, so, especially when I told you, I specifically told you, the website to go to, where is my refund, the government website, where is my refund, and I told you what information you're going to have to put in, I made sure that you have a copy of all your information, because when you leave from me, you have a copy of all your information, 
And I told, and I tell you, you go on that website, you can go on the web website and check it four, five times a day if you feel like, I, I mean, hey, it don't, don't mean me no other mom because you're on their website. But that's what you do. Don't be calling me up uh, two or three times a day asking me about your, uh, your refund. And the thing that makes me really pissed is because it's not the people who I know are legit. Like, when you came in with W-2s, legit W-2s, it's not the people, that's not those people. It's not the people that are self-employed and you can really prove that you're self-employed like, like, uh, like an electrician who you see their, you, you can really see their expenses. They come in with their proper expenses, okay? Receipts and expenses. You can see it, Okay? It's those freaking people who you know truly ain't no daggone self-employed and they coming in there worrying about some dad worrying about some daggone taxes with their three and four and five and six daggone children. And I and I don't have anything against people who have a lot of children. Not at all. I don't have anything against that. But what I'm saying is don't come up in here, okay, when you know you only paid fifty dollars and you didn't even and the thing about it is it's not like I even get my fifty dollars. I don't get my fifty dollars until you get your taxes back. So why would I be holding on to your stuff? I want to get my money. Like, come on. It really works my nerves. It works my nerves. Okay? Knowing that you didn't do Dilly Squat all day one year and come up in here talking about you self-employed. And, and I got a gut feeling that you ain't did Dilly Squat all year. Go to Jackson Hewitt or, or Liberty Tax or, or h and Block with the foolishness. Don't come to me with the foolishness and be call and calling me two or three times a day about some daggone taxes when you know for a fact you ain't really did nothing. Messing up my daggone coins. And it's not as if and it's not as if I'm living off of your fifty dollars. I mean really. Come on. But this is what I really want to say. I got a little joke. It's a joke. Anyway. If you're mining my business. And your business is minding my business. Can I claim you on my taxes? I, I want to know. Can I claim you on my taxes? You know you are a lot. That's an expense. Because you're you're making you're making money at an expense to me. You know, you're a liability. So can I claim you on my taxes? Or can you claim me on your taxes? Because your business is minding my business. So then wouldn't that then make you self-employed? Can you claim me on your tax? I just want to know. I, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me how that how it works. Tell me how it works. If you can claim me or if I can claim you. I, I, hey, I just want to know. I just want to know. Fruit Diva, I am out. Oh, no, before I, before I go, I just want to say this one last thing. If you do not pay me, my money, because regardless of whether you get money back or not, you're still supposed to pay me my $50. But if you do not pay me my money, best to believe I am not going down to file a civil lawsuit because it costs $25 to file that civil lawsuit. And I'm not filing no civil lawsuit for $20, $25 to get $50. It makes no sense. So at the end of the day, Stop trying to ride me about your faith behind taxes. Really. Frugal Diva, I am out.